Welcome. In front of me is a Samsung Galaxy F12 and today I'll show you how to set up the device. So once you put it up you should be presented with this screen right over here. There will be a minor difference between a uh, completely brand new device and this one so uh, when you start setting up your phone uh, and you get to the Wi-Fi section you are literally required to connect to it even though the device is brand new. Uh, but if the device has been reset, it, you can skip it. So you'll be able to see to well, that I can actually skip it right here. Normally this button wouldn't be visible for a completely brand new device. Uh, now I'm not exactly sure why it's uh, why Samsung requires you to log into Wi-Fi uh, or connect to network overly. Uh, I could be guessing that it has to do something with the warranty, but it's just a guess. And other than that, no other device does this. So. So I'll be skipping it, but like I said, if you have a completely brand new device, you need to connect. The next page we have copy apps and data, so it just allows you to move over uh, all the data from your older device to this one. Now, I think this part right here is being done through the Samsung uh, Smart Switch mobile application, or I think that's how it's called. So we can copy over the data. Uh, you need to first download the app on your phone and then connect those two together and should be able to copy all the data fairly easily. Now I'm going to be setting it up as new so I'm selecting don't copy which brings me to the next page which is a date and time. Now this page will only appear if you chose to not connect to any kind of network. I skipped inserting a sim card and I also skipped Wi-Fi connection so it pops up here. But like I said if you connect to anything uh, this is completely skipped altogether throughout the setup and the t date and time is set automatically. Now on the next page we have services uh, from Google, so we have location scanning, sending user and diagnostic data. So you can read exactly what those do, if you don't like them, turn them off. And next page we have an option to protect our device, and we have a couple different methods of doing so. So we have fingerprint, face recognition, pin, pattern, or password. Now the first two, which is the face recognition and fingerprint, uh, if you choose one of those or both, uh, you are still going to be required to set up uh, either one of those three pin pattern or password. That is uh, because if something happens to your finger, as an example, you cut it or maybe something, you drop the phone and the uh, screen cracks and the front camera can't really see your face clearly as it used to, uh, you won't be able to access your device. So you have additional ways of unlocking the device that uh, do not require well, options that could be well, circumstances that can change. So um, I'm going to be setting up a pattern right here only. So let's draw the pattern, continue, redraw it, confirm, and it's now set. And finish up. And that's it. We should now be on the home screen. And there it is. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.